Tom Cotton, who we've talked about many times on the show, is sort of one of the stars of the Republican freshman class. He is going to run in Arkansas and give them, I think, a very, very legitimate chance, if not a better than 50-50 chance of beating an incumbent uh, in that state. It feels like the Senate is in, is very much in play, and with each passing week looks better and better for Republicans. It feels like it's tightening up. I mean, uh, Mary Landrieu is doing pretty well in Louisiana, which right. is what the, the Democrats, the life preserver that the Democrats are holding on to. Look, you know, uh, Democrats were saying in the last cycle, this is a pretty dis disadvantageous uh, map. I think things will look better in 2016 for the Dems, but mm -hmm. I think the smart money now is that, that this majority at best gets down to three. And uh, Tom Cotton, what, what does he bring to the table? You know him. He brings money, brings obviously reputation. What else? Yeah, and uh, he's running in a great state. The uh, current senator prior is popular there, is part of the state, but totally wrong for the state and where he stands. And interestingly enough, uh, we we're up interviewing Senator John McCain for a column uh, that we did last week, and he expects Cotton's going to win. You have a number of Senate Republicans saying that they think he is the favorite. He has one of the best resumes in Washington, he's in Afghanistan, Iraq, a couple Harvards, McKinsey, 30s. So uh, as a campaigner, as a political athlete, he's at the top of his class. And brings an interesting perspective to a party very much struggling with where it stands on international issues. When he is, he's been uh, criticized a lot by other Republicans. He's someone who has not gone native here. He's someone who's uh, been happy to uh, criticize Republicans, has been about as right as you can be. And that's going to uh, help him now as he heads, uh, in, heads home.